what's up guys, CP Modi here back with another video and if you've been out and about with your laptop PC or just really any other mobile device and you've been running out of battery, chances are you may have tried to switch off the Wi-Fi in hopes to save power. But the question is, does the act of actually disabling Wi-Fi or even heck Bluetooth for that matter save you any power or is it just one big placebo effect? Well today we're going to go ahead and do a short little video to find out whether disabling Wi-Fi and also do Bluetooth will save you any power. So for our test subject today we have my XPS 15 right over behind me there. This is the 9550 model with battery bar installed to keep tabs of real-time battery usage for the actual system. Now the tests themselves were really simple. Turn Wi-Fi on, turn Wi-Fi off, record the results and well display them to you, right? Well actually yeah, but there are a few other things you'll need to consider for especially Windows 10 based systems. For example, Windows 10 does a lot of background tasks that can make these kind of tests a little bit invalid because of the fact that one time it might be running a background task and one time it might not be running a background task. So for today's video, I actually did a bunch of GP edits and also two uh, registry edits to disable a lot of the background features and functions that run that really just slow down your PC and really should never run in the first place, like indexing the hard drive for no particular reason at random times of the day. And this will really allow us to see whether there's much of a difference with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on and also two off. The rest of the specifications for this system is just on general balance mode with the latest version of Windows. Windows 10 and the screen brightness set to 40% brightness to kind of represent someone who's actually using this system who tried to dim the display a little bit but probably doesn't want to go all the way down to like 10% brightness because then you can't see what's on the screen. So we went ahead and basically started that. Now there's a lot of people on the internet claiming that turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will guarantee you to save power but let's take a look at our, some of our numbers first. First off our baseline where I disabled Bluetooth and also to disabled Wi-Fi to get an idea of how much power the system ran out when everything was off so we could add stuff and see how much of a difference we actually got. So baseline numbers right here we got 13.4 watts used each and every hour with an estimated lifespan of about 6.1 hours of actual runtime and then we flipped Wi-Fi on to find exactly 13.4 watt hours used and also to 6.1 hours of runtime. Hmm seems like enabling Wi-Fi and doesn't exactly do that much. Let's go ahead and throw Bluetooth into the mix. Enabling both of them, we saw an actual jump up to 13.8 watts used per hour, making that a 2.9% difference, which is kind of interesting compared to our Wi-Fi and then also to our nothing. Now, this gets even more strange where if we disable Wi-Fi but keep Bluetooth going, we see that now we get 13.5 watts used per hour and only a 0.74% difference with everything off versus just Bluetooth on. So why are we getting these kind of results? Pretty simple, because they're within margin of error of each other. These are so little that we're not exactly seeing such a big difference that we could even measure them with what we are looking at here. So then why on earth does everyone turn off Wi-Fi and also to turn off Bluetooth? You be wondering if there's really not that much of a difference in terms of hardware power consumption why on earth would we bother to do that and the answer is software power consumption wi-fi and bluetooth chipsets these days are really low power in fact for example watches like a smartwatch will actually use so little power even though they're always connected via bluetooth but they still manage to last you all day and thanks to the fact that wi-fi and bluetooth implementations are very low power they can achieve this and what we measured here today wasn't necessarily a big jump in the hardware power consumption but software software power consumption is something we do need to keep in mind. Because of the fact a lot of time Windows PCs do a whole bunch of stuff in the background and heck even other devices do background tasks when the internet is enabled, applications that connect to the internet will use up CPU cycles thus using up more power and using up your system. Whether it's just minor little background updates or doing little bug reports sending information off back to Microsoft to collect up all your data or something along those lines, every little task is going to be using CPU cycles and using up more power. And if we go ahead and turn it on to airplane mode or Wi-Fi off mode or anything like that, basically these programs can't connect to the internet so they just idle around saving you those CPU cycles and in all saving you power. So it's not necessarily the actual act of disabling Wi-Fi and saving power on the Wi-Fi chipset itself, rather the software that would connect to the internet is also being saved here. And also too, the computer doesn't have to constantly be searching for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth networks to join because it's just completely turned off. In fact, actually roaming around and having the computer scan for networks actually uses a fair whack ton of power. And if you can just disable that, you'll be saving power on the software side versus on the actual hardware implementation. But something gets really, really weird. If we turn Bluetooth and also do Wi-Fi back on, take it out of airplane mode and just lower our screen brightness by 10%. So on a Windows PC, just one push of the screen dim button 
button, we see that we get an absolutely massive savings. So if we pop up our graph right here, we see that I got 11.1 .1 watts per hour used, giving me a theoretical batch life of 7.4 hours of runtime, an 18% difference over our baseline, just from simply lowering the screen brightness by 10%. The Wi-Fi is still on, all the programs are still running, everything that would be using power with Wi-Fi on is still running. We just simply click that screen lower button once, and boom, we saved ourselves a whole bunch of power. And that's really the power of screen brightnesses. Screens are the most power hungry parts of your computers. And if you can just lower their brightness, they're definitely gonna be saving you a ton of power here. So I guess conclusion time of this really quick video, does disabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth save you power? Well, actually yes and no. The act of disabling the chipset of Wi-Fi and the chipsets of Bluetooth really doesn't make much of a difference because they are so low power. However, where you are gonna be expecting to see power savings is in the software department. You'll be saving power, stopping programs, Programs running in the background, stopping stupid updates going through in the background, and doing a lot of things in the background just stopped when you do disable Wi-Fi because they can't connect to the internet. Also too, scanning for Wi-Fi networks can also too chew through the battery on your system. However, if you really want to save some power, just reduce your screen brightness by 10% and you'll be saving more power with the screen brightness reduced than disabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combined. So, bit of a cool pro tip there. Overall though, do let me know in the comment sections, what do you do to try and save power? Do you disable Wi-Fi, do you disable Bluetooth and display dim, or do you just sort of roll with Wi-Fi on? Do let me know down in that comment section. Guys, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.